basically what we're doing, I can show you this weed here because it'll be easy to see, uh, easier to see than the small weed. Usually you don't flame weed a weed that, that, that is this big. We're trying to get them when they just emerge. Um, but if you look at this thing, we pass the flame over it pretty quickly and you can see it's already starting to wilt down. It's not like charred to charcoal or burn or anything, but um, when I pinch one of the leaves, I can see it leaves a really dark spot where I can tell that the cells, the plant cells have ruptured because what has happened is the flame has heated up the water in the plant cells enough so that the cell wall expands and bursts. And so this weed will wilt and die um, you know, if we come back in a couple hours and look at it. And what you're trying to do, you can either use flame eating for a stale bedding technique, uh, meaning that you're letting the weeds in the top one or two inches of the soil sort of express themselves over the period of one or two weeks and you can come through with a flame weeder and sort of boil them off the bed top. So that's uh, creating a stale seed bed and after a couple of passes like that a lot of the weeds that are in the top layer of the soil have uh, already germinated so you have it's stale. Um, the main application that we would use it for is we'll seed a crop into a bed and before the crop emerges will pass the flame weeder, weeder over the surface of the soil. The crop is under the soil so it stays protected, but the weeds that are on the top of the bed are flame weeded and then the crop emerges up into a clean seed bed.